Senator McCaskill, I want to talk a little bit about how you see this playing out. Congresswoman Jayapal, who leads the Progressive Caucus, was on Morning Joe this morning explaining her position as it relates to that Monday vote. Listen to this. Nothing sacred about Monday at all. Let's let the negotiations continue. Let's get this done. Let's deliver everything to the president's desk. And uh, I think we will then be able to say to the country, government worked for you. Jaya Paul's a good politician. She knows that more negotiating isn't going to lead to a bigger bill, certainly. But, you know, Sahil alluded to this, the trust deficit, this feeling like if everybody moves together, both of these things can still pass. But if one goes before the other, the whole operation falls apart. How, how do you read the progressives and the way they're trying to handle the strategy there? Well, they're trying to use whatever leverage they have. Um, I have a lot of trust. Speaking of trust deficits, I have a lot of trust that Nancy Pelosi can land this plane. Um, she is the person who promised the moderates a vote by Monday and promised to link up the two packages. But at the end of the day, I don't think the progressives want it hung around their neck that they killed all of it. Right. And um, this is not Bernie Sanders or the progressive caucuses package. This is Joe Biden's package. This is the candidate that won the Democratic nomination. And I think most people would say he did not win the nomination from the left. He won it from the middle. Mm -hmm. So I do think negotiation, I, here's what I think is going to happen at the end of the day, Garrett. I think they're going to pass a reconciliation bill that's smaller than 3.5. I think they're going to pass the infrastructure bill. I think they're going to fund the government. And I don't think the government's going to default. But in the process, it looks awful and stupid to America. And the Republicans are banking on the fact that the Democrats are going to take more of the blame than they are because they're in charge. And it looks like a bunch of idiots running around right now. And it's only, as Monica put it, the beginning of the maybe end. So we've got more months of it to go, potentially.